Hey, hey everyone, it's Rudy T back with another estate sale find. Went out this weekend, put together uh, a couple of little neat little boxes, a uh, total of $9. That's $9 uh, what we spent this weekend. So excited to show you guys what I got and I hope you enjoy it. Please, please, been, uh, this will be my third video on these. Let me know if you guys like them. Leave me a comment. Uh, I love making them. I, I love the hunt and I love getting back and showing you guys what I found uh, while I was out there. So first let's dive into it. Um, as I said on my last video, anytime I can buy supplies and this one was 10 cents for some wood glue instantly goes in the box. So and it's uh, practically brand new. So good deal on that one. And then I picked up a couple of chisels. Um, not nothing special, but they are vintage. They're Stanley chisels. I got a three-quarter inch. I'm sorry, a half inch. I'm sorry, half inch and three-quarters inch. I'm a little tongue-tied today, but there you go. Not too bad. The blades look pretty good. Not too much wear and tear on them. Those should clean up pretty nicely. There, get the camera to focus on the edge. Yeah, so the handles, they got some paint on them. I uh, don't know how you get paint on wood chisels unless you're using them as scrapers. But those should clean up very nicely. And there it is, Stanley, made in the USA. So yeah, she wanted a uh, dollar a piece for these. So there you go. And at the same estate sale, again, something that uh, <laughs> I use because I don't use lighter fluid. It's one of these chimneys uh, for charcoal. She had three bucks on it. And it's in pretty good condition. I don't know what the name brand is, but it looks like a Weber. Um, but again, it's been, it's been used, but in very good condition. So not bad, huh? Summer's coming up, getting ready for those barbecues. All right, and then the last thing at that state sale, which I thought was pretty cool, and if you guys look at my last couple of videos, I have some tools from the Toyota Motor Company. And lo and behold, I found a Toyota Motor Company tool bag. Now, I don't know exactly what vehicle this goes to, but I am uh, pretty certain it's from the late 60s, early 70s, just to the little research that I did. So open it up, and what comes inside is uh, a tool iron. Okay. And there are some other tools in here, but I don't. They look like tire tools, possibly, but they're not marked Toyota. So, but they came in there. So, who knows? Let me know in the comments. Okay. I don't think they're Toyota. They would be marked Toyota if they were. But I will tell you this. Putting this together with, I believe, the pliers that I found and the wrenches that I showed you guys. They're all Toyota Motor Company. Put it in this cool bag. Clean up the bag. I have a Toyota. Hmm. Maybe keep it. Sell it. I don't know. But pretty cool, huh? And I like the green. Big fan of green. So, maybe I'll look that up, K8. I don't know what that goes to. But, yeah, so we got a dollar, a dollar, a dollar, and three. So, that's six. Um, oh, and then the glue. Um, I asked her, you know, if she could do better, and I got it for four bucks. So, yeah, not, uh, not too shabby. I mean, the chimney alone... That's probably $11 if you went to go buy one brand new. The chisels, you know, you look these up, they're anywhere from $8 to $12 depending on condition. So not too bad for 4 bucks, huh? All right. So let me get that out the way. The next estate sale we went to, which I just, a little quick story before I show you what's in the box. We get there and uh, it's a bunch of, oddball things odds and ends and the guy's telling me a story about how he goes to um, storage auctions i say okay 
So, make a long story short, he has a bunch of stuff that looks like come out of a storage unit. What he doesn't understand or realize, I guess, is the box that I'm about to show you. He told me, ah, that's just some scraps. That's just some, you know, how about five bucks for it? And I had already looked into, into the box. So let me show you what I got for five bucks, right? Look at that. Yep. Okay. Let me move to the side and I will show you piece by piece what we have here. The first one is uh, this cool little Mitchell. It's a 308 light tackle fishing reel. Okay, left hand retrieve. It needs some work. It's not perfect. It doesn't move as silky as I've had others, but it moves and it's in pretty good condition overall. So yeah, that, one, that was in the box. No real damage. Obviously, you can see wear and tear from use. Hopefully, it caught some nice little trout or something. What a nice little rod, Garcia Mitchell. The next two reels, I didn't realize. Um, I had never heard of this company. It's called uh, Damn Quick <laughs> for a fishing reel. Um, this one is just the body, no spool, but works well. Looks like it's some sort of metal material cast I'm not sure but I noticed up here on the top let's see if I can get it to focus it says West Germany made in West Germany so these are German reels with a name like damn quick and this is the 220n series and this one with a cool little trout on it and a nice metal logo is the damn quick 330 now this one this one's in a lot better shape uh, it moves well got a little bit of clicking so maybe need some cleaning but overall a nice fishing reel now I just happened to look these up and in mint condition um, or close to mint condition these are getting anywhere from 50 to 70 dollars a piece so even if i was just to sell this one and this one for parts you're probably looking at 50 bucks for the two so not too bad huh for five bucks three reels already make my money back times three times four not too bad huh so yeah, I was super excited about that. And what kind of made it a little weird is the guy said he was in storage units, buys storage units and sells and buys and sells on eBay and stuff. Got to look this stuff up, guys. Got to look it up. You never know. Okay. Now, check these out. First, we got six of these. And they're okay condition they're not perfect condition but they're okay there was a few of them that I tossed because they were cracked these one or two have a couple little cracks but overall these are in very good, good, good condition they're the little Mitchell spool holders it says Mitchell across the top this is a newer, newer one uh, made in France on the back Yeah six of these Not bad and again not in mint condition But overall pretty nice Somebody I'm sure would enjoy these in their fishing tackle box, huh? And six of them so then Again, and that's in the box for five dollars Okay, so let me swing this around here and I'll show you what else was in the box. So we got two, we got four, we got six, we got eight, we got 10, 11. 
spools for Mitchell Reel, large. Now, again, not all in mint condition, all of them in use, but overall in very good working condition. Now, I know there's some difference. I'm not a 100% expert on Mitchell Reels, but there are some differences in the drag system. This one's a triangle drag. This one is, uh, for lack of a better definition, a star or an X drag. So, um, yeah, and then this one seems to have some sort of solid pin in the middle. Uh, again, I'm not 100% on these, but for five bucks, these, I see these going all the time, you know, on eBay, other garage sales, Craigslist, people are looking for replacements. And, uh, yeah. I got them so this one says small for best results use Garcia uh, oh Garcia line made in France so again three reels six real holder uh, real holders and 11 spools for five bucks now I don't know if he just didn't know or if he missed it but hey I made the deal and for five bucks yeah I'll take it so I can probably easily get my money back on some of this or you know a couple of the reels but hey for nine bucks for nine bucks not too shabby I think a pretty good day so overall hope you guys enjoyed this video I love showing them to you again, and just so you know, I went on Saturday. Usually, I go on the last day or at the end of the day, but this is on the morning, and this stuff was just there. I got there after both the state sales opened, and people were already going through stuff, so you never know what you're going to find. You just got to be willing to look for it. hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I can make many more for you guys, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye for now.